The summit between two fierce rivals, President Obama opening the White House doors today to the man who had once hoped to move in there as president himself. Take a look. There they were standing in the Oval Office, the president and Governor Mitt Romney. They would spend more than an hour at a private lunch, and everyone was wondering if somehow they would agree to work together on America's fiscal crisis. Our Jonathan Carl has been on the phone today to find out what happened. It wasn't the way Mitt Romney wanted to arrive at the White House. Over the gaze of the Oval Office portrait of Abraham Lincoln, known for his team of rivals, Romney and Obama met alone for an hour. By all accounts, much more cordial than their last encounter. I had a question, and the question you, was, how much want, did you cut them you by? You want me to answer How question? much did you cut I'm them by? On the menu, white turkey chili and southwestern grilled chicken salad, and some fence mending. But down the street on Capitol Hill was where the real fireworks were. Partisan sniping and a clear sign that talks on averting the so-called fiscal cliff and preventing a big tax hike for everybody are going backwards fast. Just listen to the Democratic Senate leader talking about the Speaker of the House today. I don't understand his brain, so you should ask him. President Obama and Speaker Boehner spoke by phone last night in a call sources tell ABC News was blunt and unproductive. Both men refusing to give ground on the issue of tax rates for the wealthy. Obama insisting they go up, Boehner insisting they don't. Listen, this is not a game. Jobs are on the line. The American economy is on the line. And this is a moment for adult leadership. And taxes aren't the only sticking point. Republicans are demanding the president come forward with a plan to limit spending on Medicare and Social Security, something many Democrats say is just not acceptable. I didn't have my own card. Jill wouldn't let me have one. Vice President Biden got into the act today, too, taking a break from Christmas shopping and snacking at Costco to urge Congress to extend middle class tax cuts. I think it's important that Congress acts now. I mean, right now. Could Mitt Romney, with all his business experience, play a role of br brokering a deal? Well, don't count on it, Diane. The president did not ask for his help today, and the two simply agreed to keep in touch. And for now, nothing more. All right. Thank you, Jonathan Carl.